Hey, it's Sandy, and in today's video, Hannah is going to be showing you how to fix five common mistakes that people make when watermarbling their nails. Don't forget to hit that like button and the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hi, it's Hannah, so let's get started. The first mistake you could be making is using cold tap water. This will not allow the polish to really spread and work properly like you usually see. The polish is just going to kind of gloop there and not really move or spread apart which makes it really hard to work with. So instead you want to use either filtered or bottled water at room temperature. This works so much better with the polish as you can see, it's spreading properly and it'll make things a lot easier. The next thing you may be doing wrong is using old thick nail polish or a brand that might not work best with water marbling. Like before you can see it just doesn't spread right, it kind of collects in the center and it's just a nightmare to work with. What you want to do is use newer liquidy nail polish. I've had a really good experience with OPI, Sally Hansen, and Jessica Cosmetics. But if you've tried another brand that works really well, be sure to comment below. Another thing that could be messing up your water marbling is working too slow. If you work too slow, the polish is going to start to dry, so whenever you take your toothpick or whatever tool you're using to drag the polish, it's most likely going to stick to your tool, drag all weird, and just be really disappointing. So instead, try to work more quickly whenever you drip the polish and also when you drag for better results. The next mistake is not using liquid latex. So if you just dive right in and put your finger into the water and remove it, you're gonna have a whole bunch of polish all on the skin. It'll take a while for you to clean this up, not to mention it might stain your skin depending on what colors you use. To help prevent this, apply liquid latex around the nail. If you don't have this, you can also use scotch tape and Elmer's glue as an alternative. I like to also apply it a little bit higher on the finger since the polish tends to get up there too. So now you can just pull it off with not too much to clean up afterwards. And lastly, you always want to clean up around the nail with a brush and remover. If not, it's probably going to end up looking something like this, really unfinished and still a bit messy. So just take a flat brush and remover and clean up around the nail for a really nice and neat look. So that does it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to click the info card at the top right hand of the screen for more videos on cue polish. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, then click the link in the description. Thanks for watching, bye!